All right, so I'm up. Good morning. Um, this is day two um, in DC. I have to uh, very quickly um, just basically get ready, like get my face ready, check out. Um, and then uh, plans are to um, hopefully get um, a quick look around um, the main area, hopefully. Um, and if not, then just really grab some food, good lunch. That gives me a little bit of time, but not a lot. Um, and hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm just hoping I can get a meal. I'd love to be able to get my nails done. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I have any time for any of that. Um, or maybe see like, I don't know, a monument or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not gonna be the last time I'm in DC. Not generally answering phone calls. I'm gonna keep my deodorant in my bag. Um, my hair clips will go in the back where I can access them. But yeah, so this is the look. Okay guys, so this is the look. This um, blue button down top. Um, these are Joe's jeans and the shoes are by Gazal. Um, they're white flats, really, really comfy. Um, and yeah, so this is the hair. This is the look, that's what they, that's what the twists get you at night, a little easy way from the morning. All right. Hey guys, um, we are leaving the hotel room. Um, it's kind of a mess right now, but there is a tip on the side table left for the cleaning crew. Um, last views, last views. Let me just check the closet real quick. Um, no, nothing is in there, so. All right, I have the um, hotel room key. So this is me. All right, let's uh, I'll get the situation. And it's a beautiful room. Yeah, it served its purpose. Now let's get it. Just going to uh, store my uh, key and stuff in my bag. The hotel I'm staying in has a really nice like bistro, so we're just gonna walk over there. Or should I say the one I just checked out of? This is it. Two. It has a mezzanine level, but it doesn't seem like that's open right now. Okay, so I figured we could walk over to, um, oh yeah, all right, get you some, some DC views before we head out. Is that red? Yeah, no. don't want to cross now. So like, literally, like, right over there is Union Station. And so that, when I was in college here, I'd be coming in through there all the time. And um, just like midnight, 1 a.m., trying to catch like the cheapest like bus or train or whatever. So we're just passing. Oh, hold on, I want you to see these really pretty flowers.
Okay, so we're gonna go see some cherry blossoms. All right, no one's there. So we're just gonna cross. I don't remember. But look, that's the Capitol building right there. So you're seeing DC. And look at these plants. Look at these beautiful, which side should we go? Left or right? If we go right, we can kind of keep going. Hmm. What a day. I'm so sorry. It's like very dreary, but at least yesterday you guys got some sun and some waterfront. I didn't want to accidentally be rained on. So, yeah. This beautiful cherry blossom grove, right? Okay, so we're gonna keep walking. I'm really loving the way that this like floor, this ground is bouncing up so much light. It's like having your own personal fill light. Um, yeah, so this fountain is on usually in the summer and warmer weather, but right now, again, it hasn't hit like, I think they're still on the winter schedule so okay so we're gonna keep walking i'm really loving the way that this like floor this ground is bouncing up so much light it's like having your own personal fill light um yeah so this fountain is on usually in the summer and warmer weather but right now Again, it hasn't hit, like, I think they're still on the winter schedule. So that is why uh, you have that. But you see all these, like, the federal buildings and the architecture. They copied a lot of, like, classical, um, like, styles when they were building this. Um, is there an event coming up? Because I see a lot of wiring. Honestly, I have no clue. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they copied a lot of um, what they saw around Europe, but America wanted to do it their way, so some of it has kind of changed a little bit. around Uncle Richie. I hope uh, you enjoy this view. Okay, so here we are. Capitol building. So 
so much going on. There's just people everywhere. There are times of year when you can come here and there aren't that many people, but typically they're off times. Given this is cherry blossom season, you're gonna get more, a bigger volume. I never realized how blue the stone was. Do you see how blue that stone is? You can see it in contrast to the yellow. I never noticed that. I always saw it as gray. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, that's like, it's just really cool. You know, like, like, okay, so that is a person, an arch. Like, she's so small, but look at how big that thing is. The frame is insane. And also, like, look at these details. Such beautiful lights, like, ironwork. Yeah, it's like, I just don't know that the scale comes across. This thing feels, it feels um, immense. I know, you know, for people who've traveled to like Europe and maybe gone to like castles and stuff, scale is relative, but it, it does, you do feel the intent of the building, which is to represent kind of the majesty and importance and, you know, impact of a nation, right? So I think it comes across more when you see it. <laughs> so I encourage you to take a trip to DC and see it. See all this for yourself. You'll like it. And come in peace, please. <laughs> So I'm going to, I'm facing this fort. I think I'm gonna go this way. Because if I remember correctly, I'm trying to get to a specific spot, but we'll see if I can. Well, the good thing is I did choose to wear flats and not some weird heel today. So thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think if I remember correctly, I remember doing like, they had us do a scavenger hunt for orientation. It was really cute. There's so many things that like, they really tried to make this experience and going to school here feel um, special and kind of get you to feel familiar and know, um, look at, do you see this tree? Do you see these colors? Look how pretty, <laughs> but they really try to like get you to, to, to feel comfortable and proud of going to school in this area. Um, so, oh, ooh, but they did a good job because even though I'm here, it's all this time later, like so many of these streets, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this, I remember that. Um, I guess four years is long enough for you to feel like you know a place anyway, right? To get familiar, so. If you wanna like book a tour or just generally not get lost. <laughs> I encourage, I encourage you to, to book a tour so you don't get lost but like this is the fun part just seeing how because of what it is they just take care of the the details you have some really ornate stuff see, see? again it really just does not just i don't know why but like that other camera just like it just doesn't do justice to like the scale of everything so anyway we're gonna Walk and walk and then the Washington Monument. And that's it. But again, like you see the details. Everything carved to create a sense of history. Even though America is like a really, really young country. Extremely young country compared to the average. They you know, they pick up details like what you'd see in you know more historical empires and stuff. To kind of add grandeur to, you know, our bill. If you're into that sort of thing, architecture, details, masonry, 
you know, you start off with the most basic foundational masonry and it just gets prettier and more artistic on top. But they kept up here pretty simple because if you touch it, it'll wear down. But then you get the really nice ornate stuff like underneath where you won't get it touched up as much. So that's just smart design. <laughs> it's pretty. Okay, so here's a view. Um, and what's really cool is they built all of these monuments in line so you could just see one straight down to the next so i can't really show that because i'm like not on the steps so funny story um that a uh, few people will remember uh, my doormates i remember when um obama had to give a speech or like a talk or something at um using our campus uh auditorium and uh, so they locked down the, I don't know, the alleyway that was behind our buildings at the time. Um, there were three different buildings that connected to the main um, conference center. And <laughs> so they locked it down. Um, and so they, you know, obviously cut off cell phone communication and all that stuff. All the things you would do to be smart and secure. And um, I just remember like snipers on top of all of our buildings. <laughs> And then there was a guy, uh, there's like a van and two guys on the van. Um, and then they had like a few cars so you wouldn't know exactly which one uh, he was in. And um, they had a tent so that he could enter into the building. And like I said, you wouldn't know which one he was in. Um, although we, 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 could, we could tell from the light, but it was just really funny <laughs> um, being like, oh my gosh, like I'm going to school here and I'm looking down and uh, and, you know, there's literally the president, who's my neighbor, uh, right there. And then we watched what he was saying on TV at the same time. So that's the fun thing about being in D.C. You feel like you're a part of everything um, in a different way. Um, all right, so let me show you the view from here, too. So this, like, beautiful little pond they made. And then I'm guessing in there. And then you go... So these guys get a really great view of this and onward. And so you have the Smithsonian kind of over there. Like it starts to fill up this whole mall area. You've got like museums on either side going past. And then, yeah. So I think this might be turning into an accidental, an accidental return to my campus. Oops, <laughs> that wasn't intended. Um, Okay, I'll walk behind these people's camera because I don't know what they're filming. Um, uh, yeah, I think this might be turning into an accidental return to campus. Ooh, yay, a reunion. <laughs> Honestly, we're just gonna take the road most trodden despite the fact that like, there's a thing because your girl does not believe in going the long way around. All right, let's go. Breaking the rules. No, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> just being lazy. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go that way. Just so we can get to that way. Where the Washington Monument is. This sounds nice. You got a little duck over there. And this thing, just for scale, this is how big this is. So, people sit on the edge and just kinda enjoy the view. One of these days, I will go to the African American Museum and hopefully be able to share my thoughts on that. Haven't been able to yet. Um, I feel like I felt a drop of rain, so I'm definitely gonna put my hair up. But uh, just seeing this. It's nice. And yeah, even like from an architectural perspective, like even a shallow pond visually, because it has so much expanse, it, you feel like you're looking at this like vast kind of sea or lake. Um, some of the cool ways you can, can kind of trick the brain into thinking like, oh, there's a lot going on. I have a lot of freedom, a lot of space, a lot of, yeah. I just think it's really cool how they did things and planned things here. Since there's not much to see yet, I'm not pointing 
and anything particular. Um, but I have decided if it rains, I'm just gonna take my leather jacket and put it over my head. Cause again, I forgot to bring an umbrella and your girl is not gonna have her hair destroyed for some rain. So desperation will make me do what I have to do. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm totally feeling raindrops, but they're really light. Hopefully I can get somewhere where I get inside somewhere. Pen, oh, yeah. Pennsylvania Avenue, let me go and just show you the, so that's, that's a street sign for Pennsylvania Avenue. And I just remember crossing Pennsylvania Avenue, trying to get to K Street classes, um, like with five minutes to spare. <laughs> just kind of losing it, just being like, oh my God, this is too much of a trek. So now, now I'm here where I don't have to worry about like classes and homework and assignments and, you know, handing things in on time. So it's a very different DC. I think that's half the reason why, like, I don't remember some of these like architectural, Oh no, that's on the thing over there. I think that's half the reason why I don't remember things because like I spent all my time trying to like get through class. And then the nighttime memories here, really fun. Oh yeah. The nighttime memories. See, cherry blossoms all over. Thank you for this really beautiful gift that like literally just makes this like district so pretty at this time of year. And it's a shame that literally because I was always like in class, like I really never enjoyed any of that until now. Like I had years and didn't enjoy any of it till now. Let me show you this building. See? Cherry blossom season doesn't last for very long, so I think that's also partially why it's such a big deal. Yeah, so that is the National Gallery of Art. I would come here to decompress between the exams and writings. Beautiful coat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, now we're walking along what is called the National Mall. Technically, if I cross the street, that would be walking along the National Mall. And um, I remember when Obama was elected, and I know all these stories sound like they were about Obama, but that was like the time that like I was actually here. Um, but. Basically, it was freezing cold. I came down with my my aunts. She came down with a bunch of her friends and then we all got into her car, or her friend's car, and then everybody came down and it was like the night before. And of course, everything shut down as it's supposed to be for security and blah, blah, blah. And um, I just remember people like not knowing where to go, like not knowing what the foggy bottom stop meant. And, um, and then like, a literally like one year one like a foggy bottom was like every single day of my life that's the air and space museum and i remember when i was here that uh my mother and i and my dad like we'd always we'd go there and basically since he's a pilot and he's really into science and knew a lot of things and won't call himself a genius despite basically being one um, went, went through, I mean, we'd go through everything, single exhibit, I guess it's under construction, so that's why there's like a tent and a crane, and, ooh, that means that there should be new stuff coming, but, um, he explained like literally everything in the, uh, exhibit, and it was funny because it was like, at some point people thought he was a tour guide, <laughs> so they were just gathering around him, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so you can, I'll show you the front of the National Gallery of Art, because it's beautiful, but... So you have a gentleman there working to make everything really pretty. But there it is. National Gallery of Art, you can see it in the, right there. 
And of course, they've just been doing a lot of the construction. So when we were at uh, the Air and Space Museum, people thought that my dad was a tour guide because he was explaining everything and the history of everything. And um, we started to have people gather around. And I remember at one point, I don't think they, I think there's a moment like a watershed when they realize, oh wait, this is actually not, he's, he's not a professional. He just knows stuff. Um, because basically, uh, I think mom started asking him some random personal question and everyone started to feel really awkward. Um, and so you just slowly watch people fall away and they'd ask him questions and he'd answer them. I'm like, dad, you're not making this any better. Like people really think that you are with the museum. Like you should just stop. And he's like, he's not even thinking about it. Cause he just, he loves science. He's a, he's a total tech guy. He's a total, you know, the AI thing, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and so, yeah, that was just really funny having to deal with his, uh, that happens at every single museum we go to. That's not just that one, but it was just funny because I thought at least the Smithsonian things would be different, but of course not. This is the daily maintenance of the museum. People working hard. So my complete unwillingness to let my hair get destroyed by rain turns me into like, a slight handmaid's tale or like uh what do you call it a um potentially like amish headdress but it is what it is i don't like rain <laughs> oh gosh so we're gonna show some really pretty art in this like outdoor gallery all right let's go trying to think which exit I want to take. So if I go toward my alma mater, I could potentially um, enter the school store and actually just buy a, an umbrella. And then I'll be repping more than I did with the hotel choice. So the fashion is strong. So we're going to go and do that yeah, yeah actually oh see when i'll show you here now yeah. like all the ponds are really shallow but they're so pretty you see this is this is what it looks like when it's empty so they're going to probably be cleaning it clearing it so that when the warmer weather comes and you get the warm weather uh, uh, uh visitors you know less grime on the floor less algae less build up less so so that's how you maintain a fountain or a pond yeah, so your girl is going to the Marvin Center, hopefully, to grab an umbrella. Until then, whoop. if I go down in that way, that should work. There's a benefit to like not giving a what people think, and this is definitely it. <laughs> Gotta protect this. Is it raining right now? It's not but before when it was like super duper, I'm still gonna go and get an umbrella, but um, archives, okay. National archives. There's like always some really profound quote on these buildings. You can't see it right now, but um, they just, they know how to be dramatic. You gotta love the government. They know how to be dramatic. Ooh, maybe they, uh, they sell umbrellas at this little um, kiosk. Okay, so I'm in here. Maybe I'll get a hat. Maybe I'll get a, a new hat. Maybe I'll do an umbrella. Let's see. Okay. okay. Back. Actually, yeah. I actually kind of love this. Let me try the gray one as well. Um, will you do the adjusting too? Just to see, it might just be easier to carry than doing the umbrella for the time being. Okay, all right. This one, this one, the black one. Yeah, me too, me too, I think so. Um, should I just put it here? Okay. And this is located, this shop is located on 9th and Constitution. All right, now I'm like, 
really looking like a whole tourist. I know these things are like supposedly collectible, but I really don't like these stickers. So we're gonna take it off. There we go. Yeah. Woo! So while I was in the kiosk that um, I was, where I got this wonderful piece of um, accessory, um, I was talking to the gentleman who owns the store. And, um, you know, I do highly encourage uh, you all to like go because he was really affected by COVID. Obviously anything tourism related got really, um, like this so that you can still see some light um yeah he was really affected by covid so um he said for two years basically he couldn't go and he couldn't get any work because the streets were shut down and you know basically if the museums are closed there's nobody in the area um so uh, it's cool to see him in the process i asked him you know how is his, his business doing now and he's saying things are picking back up so uh that's really really uh, good to see, but yeah, ninth and Constitution. That way, you can support and uh, somebody can feed their family. Department of Justice. So the National Museum of Natural History, not to be confused with the American Museum of Natural History, which is one of my favorites in New York. Essentially, um, do I wanna go and turn here? No, uh, I think I still have a little ways to go. I still have to get to the Washington Monument before I can even get to, like closer to campus, so. Do, 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 do. So you might be asking, Lauren, why aren't you going into any museums? And the reason I'm not going into any museums is because museums are like time sucks for me. If I go into a museum, I'm gonna to wanna to be in there like for the next five hours. And given that I'm here for maybe a few more hours before I have to hop in a vehicle and go, uh, that won't help any of us. So um, this way, what I'm doing, I'll just like be able to just like, if I need to quickly cab it back to the um, hotel that's holding my bags walk over to Union Station and like that's it like we can get on with our day that's why <laughs> if I were here for longer or let's say I was leaving tomorrow then I would definitely do that so this is the um, National Museum of American History that's amazing and this is the African American uh, Museum I believe yeah, National Museum of African American History and Culture. That's awesome. And I guess you still probably have to do the, um, you know, you sign up for a time if you want to actually go in. Oh, okay. oh yeah. But it's amazing. Sorry, not trying to film you. Oh, <laughs> if that makes you uncomfortable. But air my, oh my goodness, there it is, Washington Monument. It's just crazy. Like you see it every day, and it's like a part of your life, and then it's just no longer is. Yeah. Independence Day. Uh-huh. When they blew yeah, up, right. that's all I could think like of was like the street Oh my like, gosh, up. yeah. You know what? There's a reason that scene was like so classic. Like it was, it, it, I feel like in film they kept trying to get that, um, how long is it? But I don't want to bring is it okay if I just film you a little one? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Bobby, come on. Walk for her. Hello. Yeah, Brownie? Perfect. Hey, what's up? Did you say the name was Brownie? Oh, no, no Tommy. No, Tommy. Oh, Tommy. Tommy. Okay. Tommy's, Tommy's like rude. saying, I want to sniff everything. Oh, you got it. That's oh the other goodness. thing. They sniff everything off top. <laughs> So there it is, that's the Washington Monument. So yeah, met another um, cute couple, that dog, Tommy. Um, they're very, very sweet. Um, and uh, they were just telling me about dachshunds and what like they need for being taken care of, like 
um, you know, how long it took to basically house uh, break the dog. I don't like that phrase, house train the dog. Um, and it was a pretty cool experience, like learning about the, the, um, that breed. Because they're really feisty, they're very small, and they have a lot of opinions. So I feel like we'll get along um, if I ever do get a dachshund. So good to me to be informed before you have to go and have one, right? Um, they suggested that I do training and oh, I feel like I'm seeing, seeing some familiar stuff now. Um, but yeah, they suggested that like basically the um i basically plan for like sleepaway camp for the for the pup <laughs> uh if they did it and and that's one thing that's really common that you hear about with them um, with with uh with dachshunds that they're like super feisty they have a lot of opinion especially the boys um the girls are a little bit more docile but i'm sure it's like within like one degree of difference and um yeah, I think now I want to actually go not to the Washington Monument. I want to go to, <sighs> gosh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? If I go down there, then I'm going to have to go all the way around. I don't really want to do that. Okay, so this is what I'll do. I will... Because basically, I can I can see uh, <laughs> I can see the way to my former campus. Um, so I'm thinking if I walk that way, but I'm not sure if that park is open. The green space seems to be closed. Um, so that is what I'm trying to do. Now I want you guys to tell me something. Am I crazy? Or do people like really hyper stare at you just because you're holding a camera? At this point, every single person in the world, more or less, we know that there are people who don't have access and that's not, we're not judging them. But at this point, like everybody knows what a vlog is. So it's always so funny when people like look like, what's that? And you're just like, the thing that like everyone does and like has, which is, you know, a vlog. Um, it almost seems like people are shocked or like, amazed that like you'd be comfortable sharing your life and like letting people see you share your life but um it's really not but oh well anyway one of the things that i remember that I forgot about that DC has is um, crazy stops. Like when it comes to people actually like, whatchamacallit, um, stopping at a stoplight, they go as fast as they can right until they have to actually hit the brake. And as a result, you're always like, okay, don't run me over. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so beyond the White House, slightly to the other side, that's where campus is. Um, but yeah, ooh, I gotta show you the view. Very cool. So there you go, that's your CNDC, guys. So there's not so many cherry blossoms here. Um, if I, uh, I think, kept going that way, I would eventually get us to the Washington monument i think again this is like 10 year old um geography knowledge so some of it's not going to be accurate um for all of you geography nerds who might be watching uh you know your girl doesn't know everything and she knows that so be easy <laughs> i feel like that's that building next to the whole foods but i really can't be sure um Anyway, it's just good to be out walking, having a time, not being like rained on, and um, 
Yeah, I keep trying to tuck my hair and my ponytail in, but I probably need to make a bun. But yeah. So I'm trying to go there. I'm trying to go there-ish. So it's so funny, even if you don't want to do something political as a vlog, it's kind of hard when you're in DC not to touch on politics because I'm just thinking about the fact that since so much was kind of made um, unsafe um, in the last few years, it kind of reminds me of like how airports after um, September uh, 2001, like, you know, bars, walls, doors went up, um, like in airports, basically, um, you know, TSA went full on ham, but beyond that, like in New York city. So when you walk around, you know, it's designed on purpose with, um, barricades, like, um, little, basically these blockades, cement blockades that can be moved from place to place. So at a moment's notice, things can be shut down, areas can be shut down and locked off, which again, when you have so many people and so much as far as safety on the line, it, it totally makes sense, but it does change the nature of a place because, you know, in order for something to be secure, you almost have to make it a prison, which is kind of how some of this feels, unfortunately. Like for me thinking of like, like the, the 10 year difference. Like when I was going here, we still of course had like the stanchions and metal barricades and stuff, but they just weren't as prevalent. And now they're like way more. And so that's something that I feel like got really changed. But like, it's something that's really to me changed the atmosphere of here. And is kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit sad, I think. Um, because it didn't really have to be that way. Um, but what is it? They say one bad apple ruins the whole bunch. And very often they'll say like, don't let the bad apples ruin it for you. But that's what it does. One bad apple ruins the whole bunch. Now all of a sudden things are different. I also know too, again, because this is cherry blossom season, but there's just also volume, more people. So things have to be managed differently. So I don't necessarily put it on anybody, but I'm just saying, I kind of miss the slightly more innocent feeling DC. Kind of miss it. <laughs> yeah. Also, since um, like right as I was graduating, um, the university did buy Corcoran. So um, now it's actually part of the university campus. And I do believe some of these buildings are actually a part of that but I can't remember where, like which one. Um, I'm just trying to get to the main center, really. Um, I can't remember what building this is. Gosh, you pass it every day and then you're like, okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Guys, what is this building called? Why don't I remember the name? That is one thing I absolutely do remember. The squirrels were crazy. Like they'd like fight you for your burger. <laughs> they were very, very bold. I remember that, them being very, very bold. Um, you were just like, dang, you're a squirrel. Why are you out here trying to like eat my whole burger bun? Like what is happening? <laughs> so they really were about that life, <laughs> the squirrels here. Um, similar thing to New York, so that felt familiar anyway. Some people have no manners. See, wave to that guy. Nice. Said hello to the other gentleman. Not nice. I didn't do anything to him, but maybe he's having a crap day. Everyone's allowed that, I guess. I was still wave though. That's like literally no effort. This building is gorgeous. Okay, so we're officially at um, umbrella time. Cause it's just, there's just too much rain. You can see the spots on my shirt, I think. Well, even if you can't, the point is there's spots on my shirt from the rain. So crazy how this place has changed. 
I'm doing passport agency. Oh, I definitely know I'm on campus now. Thurston Hall. At least they got a paint job. Mabel Nelson Thurston Hall. So they've added a few names. Yeah. So there used to be like a whole sitting area here. And then this would be like a series of offices. Yeah. It's just West of Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> take for this cab to get here or I can just find one on the street so that's the Watergate hotel I don't think hold on it's just so that you all don't think this was a purely self-indulgent trip down the weirdest memory lane that's no longer like actually a thing but is purely a memory there was a grocery store that used to be in the bottom of it that we would go to Safeway. I don't know if the Safeway is still there or not, but what's cool is that as you walk over to Watergate, you get to the waterfront. Um, I cannot believe how much walking I've done today. This is ridiculous. I am really glad I went to the new, whatever 2000 pin is now called, um, and got, um, you know, the pa papetas or pa I think it's papetas con limon, like a, like sugar cane and lemon drink. It's delicious. This is definitely not what I intended. I wonder if that grocery store is still over there. I'm almost done. That's the one thing I always liked about DC, these beeps so that, um, people who had, um, uh, who were sight impaired could uh, actually, wow, who were sight impaired could actually uh, know when it was time to cross the street. Um, and yeah, so you have back there, that right there is the Kennedy Center. Unfortunately, you can see that um, the the unhoused population has probably gone up because of COVID, but um, it's always been here, you know, it's always been part of DC. That's why it's good to volunteer, give back, you know, try and be um, part of the solution if you can, um, or at least, you know, a friendly help. Uh, yeah. I don't even think, let me see. I see a lot of like construction down at the base, so I don't know. Like, these are places I would walk, like, freshman year. A barber shop is there. Like, this building is definitely, it's been redone. Uh, it didn't look this clean. Was this here like this before? It didn't look this clean, at least. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to see if that Safeway is still there. Then I'm going to call my car to my hotel, and we are going, 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 gone. Oh, the Watergate's fountain is still there, as weird as it ever was. I see kids going there with bags, so I'm wondering and assuming that the Safeway is still there. Which is good, because like Safeway was way more affordable <laughs> than the Whole Foods. But once the Whole Foods came up, my lazy self was like, yeah, I'm spending 200 on my like bi-monthly groceries. Sorry, Mom and Dad. <laughs> oh, they love that. So there you have it. That's the Watergate Hotel. That's the Kennedy Center. It 
we will not be heading to Georgetown today, so you guys will just have to wait for another vlog for that. <laughs> we do not have the time. The shops at Watergate. So they still have the shops. It seems like a lot of those shops were once in um, where the new GW like bookstore is going to be. Like the UPS store or the post office and stuff. Like it seems like a lot of that moved here, which actually makes a lot more sense because people, some people actually live here and have like more of a daily errand type need. That's the lobby. I don't need to go down there if it's not there. Okay, so I don't think it's there anymore. I lied to you. I said I was gonna leave, but I still had to come all the way down and actually double check the Safeway was not here because I would be so remiss. Okay, so there's a wine shop in Delhi. Double checked it. Not there anymore. <laughs> All right. Due diligence done. So like postal stuff, the kind of things that people now would just like need for everyday living. This was some random white building with stone, I think. So this is completely um, new apartment. And it looks cute. It feels like they're going for something. Um, I don't really need to go any further down this way though, so let's head back. You haven't seen DC. No, you have. We're done. Oh, that was so good while it lasted. Oh my gosh, so many memories. I Street. Just memories everywhere. In the end, what I'm so grateful for is like that nothing stays the same. I know that might sound weird to some people, but I actually, I love that. I love that nothing stays the same, that we can't expect it to. And that generally there's a sense of like, there's always progress and there's always movement and there's always potential. And you know, whatever you don't like now, give it 10 years, it'll probably be very different. Your life will be different. Your perspective will be different. The things you do and don't want will be different. And so there's like something really special and cool about just like, just giving yourself a break, you know, giving your, the, where you are, your environment, a break. If you're not where you think you're supposed to be, or if where you are, doesn't feel like it's going to, like it matches up with where you think you should be. Eventually, things change and I think that was something I found really hard to understand at first you know this idea that like things change but they do so it's like the best thing if you can allow yourself to just embrace where you are and who you are at the time because you're not going to stay that same person in like another decade, another six months, you're not. And even if you don't change, the world around you is gonna change. So you have no choice in some ways. But again, I think it's a good thing, not a bad thing. Um, where the hell am I again? 
Uh, Phillips. Uh, right, okay. All right, well, so this hotel, there's like a hotel with the blue awning. That is one Washington Circle, and that is the first hotel that my family stayed in when we were attending, um, like, when we were first moving in, first day of college. So it's crazy to see all this stuff. So we are now in the Uber and we're gonna go to the hotel. This is a good trip. So I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's way too much to do that and all the logistics of travel. This is Lauren. I'm saying thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.